It's after a storm, so this is a lot of what comes off the streets and what people are tossing into our lake, the lakes. That's debris of all kinds, and you can see that most of it is plastic. Um, and you can see that our sea bin is so full that it actually can't take any more in. It looks like a trash can, but it actually behaves more like a vacuum cleaner. And it sucks in about 25,000 liters of water slowly every hour. And what it does is it traps everything that's on the surface, that's debris. Pollution Probe has been installing and monitoring these collection bins at marinas across the Great Lakes for three years. Started with about 26 sites around the Great Lakes, now we're up to over 40. Great Lakes Plastic Cleanup is the largest initiative of its kind in the world to capture plastics from the Great Lakes, to analyze it, to engage communities, and then work with industry and our governments to come up with solutions for our plastic problems. But the bins of garbage are not just discarded, they are then analyzed. Each piece of plastic sorted out and recorded. So if you can see here, we have a film, um, masks. Uh, bottle caps are also like a common one. Um, but there's also really, really small pieces. So like something like this is just foam, like styrofoam foam. Caps. It's not a fun job. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right for why me. Do you, why do you do it? Um, I care a lot about um, the environment and just plastic pollution in general. So I'll go uh, once or twice a week to see what debris they have and filter through the different garbage. And between all the locations, that adds up to a lot of plastic. We've met, analyzed over uh, approximately 80,000 pieces of plastic so far. Why is it so important to analyze all of this and especially focusing on the Great Lakes? The largest group of fresh water lakes in the world uh, represents 80% uh, of North America's fresh water, over 20% of the planet's fresh water. We learn a lot of things that tell us, you know, what governments need to be doing or what specific industries need to be doing. And all that collectively, communities, industry, and the government, that's where everybody coming together to tackle the problem, that's where the solutions are going to come from. Well, the collection process will continue until mid-fall. Following that, it will take about six months to analyze the data over the winter. In the Toronto Harbour, Audra Brown, City News.